I'm here, and it is absolutely fucking beautiful here in Fresno, California, so I thought that I would do uh, my review uh, or my um, video outside here today um, at this time. Oh, speak of the devil, this is my dedicated throwing knife, um, a Timberline Emerson Neely Spec War in ATS-34, and um, yeah, it's a good... Um, uh, probably a tool that I should uh, use more often. I use it to uh, deal with my frustrations. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is a knife that I was commissioned to build by Entranced Vermin on Blade Forms and Instagram. He wanted a punch dagger and um, as symmetrical as possible. Now, part of the thing about making punch daggers is if you don't have any kind of computer-aided design, symmetry is real son of a bitch. I mean, eyeballing, it. I mean, Let's face it, as a knife maker, I am my biggest critic. Um, especially more so than I than I ever thought I would be because, you know, I'm doing, uh, I, I'm making a functional weapon, but I'm also trying to make something that's pleasing to the eye and that is a piece of art, you know? Um, so, yeah, I, I can see, when, when I send a knife off to somebody, little, little confession here, right here, um, I can immediately find 1,000 things that I forgot, that I, that, I, that I see wrong with it. 1,000 problems, and I'm just hoping that he can only find 500 of them. I would be, like, happy as a clam. It never fails, though, is that when, it, when he gets it, he's like, dude, this is better than I ever imagined. I'm like, you know, I'm, I am my own fucking worst enemy. Uh, who, needs, uh, who needs enemies when you got a yourself, right? All right, so um, yeah, this is a punch dagger. This is an A2 tool steel, hardened to um, approximately 62 RC, 61, 62-ish. No cryo involved in this. Um, you're looking at the tempering colors. I surface ground and finish ground between tempers. So after the second tempering, I, it came off like this, and I'm thinking, hmm, this looks pretty badass. Take a picture, send it to him. He's like, yeah, leave it. So I'm like, yeah, let's leave it. Um, <clears throat> the secondary bevel is on this side only. This side is just dropped. So you can see, let's see here. Um, can we see that? Yes, okay. So yeah, dropped, dropped, then ground and ground, yeah. Um, micarta over orange G10. This is olive drab micarta, stainless pins. Okay, so um, punch daggers are a different animal as far as bolsters, handles, measurements, and overalls. So we're just gonna say um, overall length on this guy is uh, five and seven eighths. Um, sharpened length, as far as blade length, is sharpened length is a cut here past three inches. All right, so um, how much does it weigh? Hopefully I'll get a good read on this scale. All right, 5.685 five ounces. And then with the rig, how much does it weigh? Five, or 8.565 five ounces. All right, cool. So the rig is set up for a um, Small of back, um, angled carry for a, cro uh, a scout carry, I guess you would say. Um, reaching behind you, drawing your, you'd be um, reaching behind yourself like uh, this, yeah. And then you'd be drawing into this grip, right? Right. All right, so there it is. Um, as always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua, God bless. Later.